it's me, Chin Farrell. Thomas, whatever, back from 3D skill with another exciting tutorial. And this is a short tutorial. And in the last tutorial, I showed you this face motion tracker script I created. And until now, it was not possible to record the motion data. Um, so I changed the script now and now it's possible to record all the motion data and, and save them into the content browser and build up a complete library and then you can drag and add all these motions to every face or character which is prepared for this motion tracker thing. So this is pretty awesome. So um, to how to get an idea how the script works watch the the last tutorial of this motion tracker and, and now I just explain how to record the stuff now so here I have a motion tracker I tracked a three-point mouse um, so to get the thing working so I tracked this more you can't see it at the moment and is it just a motion tracker and I track three points on my mouth so watch the the tutorial how how this works and now I add my script here. I have here the script manager and I add now simply the face track. I call the script and it creates a null object with all its interface. It's a little bit different. And the last thing you you have to you had to select the motion tracker and this thing you don't have to select the motion tracker. Simply call the script. It creates a null object. It's a container, you can drag this later into your character object if you want. And now there is a Python script on it, a Python tag with some code in it. And of course this interface. And there you can see here is a link. There you have to um, drag your post morph tag. This is this one um, you prepared for this motion tracker thing. You drag this into and also this is new here, this stuff here, this uh, this area is new. And then you have to drag here your motion tracker. So he, he instantly um, recognize how many points or how many track, track points you created. And he knows instantly uh, that it is a three point mouse tra uh, mouth track. As you can see, it's He's taking over the track data from the tracker and also you can exaggerate here your uh, I, I don't know what this is because now it's not uh, it's not real time anymore so you can see you can exaggerate now the the strength of this how much this is so, so now I show you how to record this um, stuff so first uh, directly recording with the motion system I didn't figure out it's not possible so I make a little bit of work around so simply choose this, ob this object and go into you open the the timeline here and as you can see here simply drag it in and say say here bake object go here go ahead and choose here bake object and now you choose all the expressions and all parameters and say OK. So we don't need here these things. We just need here from the face thing these parameters here. You can see here I have deleted it. So we just need these. Um, we can delete this stuff here from don't need it anymore. So we have just here the recordings we need. Now it's steered real time. So, so it now as you see, I can switch off the real time parameters, but they are already they are um, still steered through the parameters now. These parameters steering the pulse morph tag. So you have to if you make this this motion thing working uh, this baking working you have to as you can see you have to choose here expressions and all parameters otherwise it doesn't work so yeah 
now delete this stuff now we have your uh uh free uh keyframe animation frame by frame and now you simply choose here now um animation and motion clip and simply choose here now uh you can turn this off delete motion clip and call this now maybe face motion tutorial and yeah and press ok and he deleted this animation from from the clip and as you can see it's still steered now through the motion clip so when I go into the motion clip now in the timeline as you can see when I turn this off so it's no longer steered so it's steered now through the motion clip and this is amazing because now we can save this um, we can save this now uh, into our library simply motion um, preset maybe save it as preset or maybe save the the motion thing uh, every anywhere on your hard drive where wherever you want so pretty it's pretty cool I save it quickly here as preset so I say here this is the face tutorial face tut intro and here maybe yeah you save the video with the with the audio file and now you know what what it means or a short text what you have recorded and yeah press ok so when you delete now this motion here nothing happening anymore so now you can simply load the mo motion preset here as you can see here we have here face track this is this one now this is the face track tut intro we saved and you drag it i don't know here what's that we have to leave it so drag it inside and now you can drag it in your timeline as you can see now it's here now we have and now you can record your different face uh, uh, face shots and yeah arrange them non-linear here in this uh, motion timeline here yeah that was my tutorial my changes in my script please like me and subscribe me and yeah have a good day. Goodbye.